Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing the makeup look that I wore in the eyeliner and blush video review thing. So I did say if you liked it let us know and a lot of you have requested it so I hope you like it. This is what I did and this is what I've been wearing a lot of lately because it's neutral. It doesn't consist of much to get changed and ready and get your makeup on and get out the house. So I've already put foundation on. Um, there's a tutorial already on and I'll link it back so you can have a little look just in case. But first of all, I'm going to start by curling my eyelashes and I'm just going to use the Shu Amura, I think that's how you pronounce it, and it's just lash curlers. And I'm just going to stick them on. My eyelid is bare, I haven't put anything on it because I don't. I just leave it bare and then do me, me business. So get these curled up, which I do a lot of now, and I curl them now. Plus, once I've got my liner on and my bits and bobs, I curl them again. So to start with, dead simple, black liquid liner. And I'm using this because it's quick and it just glides across for me. So steady your little finger, start on the inner corner. And we're across so we've gone right across I'm just going to go further in close to the lash line make sure that there's no gaps it's an extremely simple look it's cute it's fresh it's neutral and I think you could actually get away with this at school all I'm doing at the end is making a little tick but I'm kind of bringing it up and out And I'm going to do the same again on the other side. So steady your little finger. And if you need to breathe or blink, it's always best to come away. Otherwise, you end up with watery your lashes, watery eyes, and you could poke yourself in the eye with the wand and it really doesn't feel very good so it's best to just come away and breathe and then go back to it I'm just filling in the gaps because I tend to go a little bit high and then bring it out the outer corner if you need to because I do my skin's getting a little bit slack around the eye so what I do is I just pull it taut and then join the line. So there you have it. And what I'm going to do as well is come down right into the corner. It's so simple. It really is. So you've got your liner on, your black liquid liner. Then I'm going to take the NYX pencil. I've been using this a lot lately because my eyes haven't looked so great. And I'm just going to gently pull the skin there. And we're just going to just push that into the skin underneath. And this is going on the wet part. So you've got your tear up there and the wet part. Because there's two parts of the lower lash line. The part where the skin is with the lashes where you can actually put black on if you want or brown or any colour liner and then the waterline is the wet part, the pink pink part and as you can see look it just opens the eyes and it gives them a cute fresh daisy look and again on this side and if you're brave you can even have a little shot of tight lining tight lining is always good if you want to give the appearance on the outer corner that you've got more lashes so I just like lift the eyelash back and I paint the black liner under there like that and it does tickle at first and you'll get take some getting used to but it really does work and it makes the outer lashes just 
appear thicker because you've got more of a, a shadow there. So now I've got my little liner on and that's all I do with the eyes by the way and then I put my mascara on. But first I'm going to get me brush stipple where is it going? No, we'll use this one today. So a big big fluff brush. This one is from happyface.com and it's sandy gold. She's got all makeup brush brushes and it's the big fluffy brush. Get the hair out of the way. And the light is just leaving us. It's going really, really dark. So anyway, I'm going to just fluff this up. And I'm only going to be going in this kind of triangle shape. So it gives a nice highlight. And because the different colours in it, look, it just, you get like a peachy look here, then a darker peach, and then a mix of pink and swirls. And it's just gorgeous, and it lifts the cheek lovely. So give a nice bit of that on. Just stick that in there like that. See, look at it. It's just gorgeous. The gate, you know, this look is also fantastic for school. Because it's neutral, it's not overdone. And I don't think anyone got wrong for wearing a bit of eyeliner. So, I know I never did. So, just going to gently puff that up and down on the cheekbone there. And then you'll see this highlight come up look. And that's all after one stuff. The one product. To excuse the brain blips today. There's quite a few of them. But there you go. I just perks the cheeks up a little bit. So put that back on the lid. Now for the lips. I'm using any foundation left over on your foundation brush. If you don't use a foundation brush, just get some foundation, tiny tiny bit on your finger and just do that. So just left over. And I'm just dabbing it on to the lip. And this is to matte the colour out. It helps to provide a base. I've used prep and prime and lip primers and stuff like that before. But they don't tend to get rid of my colourings on my lips. Because my lips are actually quite red. And there you have that. And then to blend it in, because when you put anything dry on your lip, especially when you put wet there, you see, you get like a line. It's not a nice line, and I don't like that about matte lipsticks. So I'm going to just put a bit of gloss, and I'm using NARS Belize, or Belize, Belize here. Show someone if it was right, because I'm really not quite sure. Sooty? What you doing? She's there. Look at them all. And I don't know if you can hear, but Phoebe is in the passage in our bed snoring. So there you go. You get a nice little neutral glow on that. Let's do some more mascara. So I'm using Colossal. And it's by Maybelline. I love this. Really, really love it. I was pretty hard to please after meeting Max Mascaras. But I must admit, I've been given all different ones a try. Because I've been doing review videos. And I've come across this one and I'm well in love. So, Maybelline Colossal. I'm well impressed with the formula. The brush. The, the everything. And I don't know if you can see, but it really just boosts the lashes nicely it's a bit hard to show you because it's starting to go dark in here and I didn't bring a lamp over there you go it's that cute black liner with a little bit of lash look and that is what I have been walking around in the streets wearing lately I haven't, because it just takes so much effort putting loads of stuff on. And this one doesn't. So, there you go. And I hope the tutorial's a bit shorter for you as well, because other, they just go on and on and on and on. Now, I know I do yap a lot, but I like to yap. And because I've come on here... Not as much as I used to. I feel like I've got absolutely loads to tell you. And I have, have by the way, I've got a bit to tell you coming up. So I think I'm going to put you through a vlog video. 
soon and tell you because there's a big surprise you are all in on it yes and it's to do with New York and that's all I'm going to tell you for now but I will be back on here very very soon to tell you um I think we're done I think that's it this is exactly what I had on I may have had my hair differently but this is what I was wearing in the the blush and eyeliner review video so if you were the one that requested it I hope I fulfilled your pleasure. Zoom, zoom.